simplify marketing and sales process simplify marketing and sales process so that is what crm is fine now clear everyone yes right good now so we'll talk about different types of cloud computing so we have already discussed about cloud and cloud computing right so what is cloud it provides services over network and what is cloud computing it is a model for providing it services through internet now i'll clarify you very clearly what exactly cloud computing is listen to me very carefully so before discussing about cloud computing i want to let you know about client server architecture what is that client server architecture do you have any idea about cloud client server architecture no right listen so whenever a client or else whenever a person we can call it as client whenever a person or whenever a client sends request to the server the request gets processed through the server and the server sends feedback or information back to the client is that clear in this way the client server architecture works clear if you want to find something in google what do you do so we search for it you search for something right so yeah. here you are the client you want to search for something right so whenever you want to send a request to the server whenever you want to ask something something to the google in that situation the server behind the google gets processed through the server and server sends back some information to you is that clear in this way the client server architecture works is that clear yeah right so in client server architecture listen to me very carefully in client server architecture some things are dependent on to the server side and some things are dependent on to the client side if you want to ask anything you can ask to the google and the google the google what google send request to the request to you back right so in client server architecture what will happen something or dependent on to the server side and something or dependent on to the client side but listen when it comes to or when we talk about cloud computing cloud computing is nothing but a client server architecture it is similar to client server architecture but in which nothing is dependent on to the client side everything is there on to the server side clear uh, can you repeat the last one hadesh uh, like everything is dependent on the server side right? listen listen yeah. when it comes to cloud computing cloud computing is nothing but a client server architecture in which nothing is dependent on to the client side everything is there on to the server side any doubts okay. no no it's okay what about others clear yeah. my yeah. nikhil gaurav guna divya yes. clear right Good so reason. can anyone differentiate between client server architecture and cloud computing so basically the client server has uh, dependency on both end like server side and also the client side but in the cloud computing it only depends on uh, the server side that is nothing dependent on the client side Good. what about others whatever... okay. okay what about others try 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 something don't worry don't treat it as an interview okay right and it's fast right so in the client server architecture something or dependent on to the server side and something or dependent on to the client side but when it comes to cloud computing everything is dependent on to the server side nothing is dependent on to the client side clear 
right? Yes, so yes. in yes, Nikhil. Right. So here in cloud computing, client just need only browser and internet. If you want to search for YouTube, what do you do? You just go to the Google and search for YouTube. If you want to search for Gmail, if you want to search for MS Office, if you want to search for Salesforce, what do you do? Do you need to install any software for that? Do you need to maintain any hardware for that? Only right. So you just ask Google and Google send you information back to you, right? So everything is there onto the server side. Nothing is there onto the client side. This is what cloud computing is. Clear? And we have different types of cloud computing, right? So we have different types of cloud cloud computing. Is this visible to you? This no, page. No, Sorry? No, we can't see. Uh, are you sharing any screen? Because yes, yes, yes. No, no, we cannot see any screen. One second. Now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right, good. So now next topic is what? Cloud server models or types of cloud computing or components of cloud computing. You need you no need to go into go very much depth onto these kind of topics, but you should have at least some knowledge on it. So that is the reason I am uh, teaching you these all things. Fine. Okay. Right. So in cloud computing, we have three types. Right. So cloud computing can either be classified based on the deployment model or the type of services. It can be classified into three types. The cloud computing is classified into three types. How many types? Three types. First one is what? It is SaaS. What is SaaS? Software as a service. And second one is what? It is PaaS, platform, platform as a service. And third one is what? It is IaaS infrastructure as a service so what is sas what is pass what is ias listen to me very carefully i'm talking about sas so what is sas listen sas or software as a service it allows users to access a vendor's software on cloud on a subscription basis in this type of cloud computing users don't need to install or don't need to download applications on their local devices instead the applications are located on a remote cloud network that can be directly accessed through the web is it clear the simple way it is a way of delivering applications over the internet as a service instead of installing and maintaining instead of installing and maintaining software you simply access it via internet right so that is what software as a service so examples of software as a service is what salesforce email and google docs do you need any hardware or do you need any applications to install do you need any applications to search for email no no right so if you want to search for anything you can do we can search for with the help of SaaS software as a service. So that is what software as a service. What is software as a service? It is a way of delivering applications over the internet as a service instead of installing and maintaining software, right? You can simply access it via internet. So that is what software as a service. Next, so these are very important examples of software as a service. What are the examples of software as a service? SaaS, Salesforce, email on Google Docs. Next, pass, what is pass? Platform as a service. So, what is platform as a service? Platform mm -hmm. as a right. Platform as a service or pass. Listen to me very carefully. It is a type of cloud computing that provides a development and deployment environment in cloud. It provides what? Development and deployment environment. Do you know what exactly deployment is? Have any idea about deployment? De 
deployment is nothing but release in your entire salesforce log in your entire salesforce life you need to work and you should work on deployments only if you want to work as administrator or if you want to work as a developer you have to work on deployment and productions every day or every week so what exactly deployment is Ah, deployment. Of completion of development of an application. Mm -hmm. Others. It is like after completing any application, we test it right. So mm -hmm. the we are releasing a, a code and we are checking it if it's correct. Right. Like so deployment is all of the activities. that makes or else that make a software system available for use clear everyone in the session yes right yes sir clear so that is what deployment is okay so when it comes to pass platform as a service or pass is a type of cloud computing that provides development and deployment environment in cloud that allows users to develop and run applications without the complexity of building or maintaining the infrastructure right it provides users with resources to develop cloud based applications the simple term or else so it it provides what it provides users with resources to develop cloud based applications in this type of service a user purchases the resources from vendor on a pay as you go basis and can access them over a secure connection don't worry i'll elaborate you in a clear way so pass is what pass is a model in which a third party provider hosts application development platform and tools on its own infrastructure and makes them available to customers over internet if you want to develop application what do you do we take a platform platform what can kind of, how can you get a platform if you want to get a platform What do you do? You simply go to market and buy the platform, or what? No, we need. No need to buy a platform. You need to rent it. You have a chance to rent. Clear, right? So the third-party provider hosts application development platform and tools on its own infrastructure and make them available to customers over the internet. So that is what Pass is. So what are the examples of Pass? It's Google App Engine and online compiler. Under the examples, Google App Engines and online compilers. Next, sir, can you, sir, can you please differentiate between SaaS and PaaS, please? SaaS and PaaS, good, very good question. Yeah. Right. So listen to me very carefully. Hmm. If you want to search for something, for example, you are using Google Pay, or else what? You are using some some application, some game applications. You so you are if you want to use some game app. what do you do you simply go to the internet or you simply search for it on the google and you will get it from the internet so that is what saas is you no need to install anything you no need to download anything you just simply search for it and you'll get it get it from the internet so that is software as a service clear okay right next when it comes to platform as a service as a developer if you want to develop something what do you do you need a platform to develop something right so if you want the platform you no need to buy platform from the market okay. you can rent it from internet okay. right so that is what platform as a service that is what plat that is what pass clear okay right any doubt others others no 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 right okay. so if you want any application from internet we use saas services if you want to develop something we use pass services clear that's it next 
infrastructure as a service. What is infrastructure as a service? Any idea? It is something like the architecture for any kind of uh, an application. Mm -hmm. Like we follow a step by step process. Listen. Do we need to buy some subscription? Yes. Sounds good. Listen. Infrastructure as a service or IaaS is a type of cloud computing in which a service provider, listen to me very carefully, in which a service provider is responsible for providing services, storage, and network over a virtual interface, over internet. Clear? It is a model in which third party provider hosts services, storage, and other virtualized computer resources and make them available to customers over internet. So that is what infrastructure as a service, right? Listen to me very carefully. If you want to develop some applications, you need some infrastructure, right? So without infrastructure, you cannot develop any applications. Like what type, what kind of infrastructures we need? For example, we need server, right? So if you want to, if you want, we need server and we need storage and we need other, some something like hard disk. So how can you get this type of infrastructure? If you want to develop something, you simply go to market and buy these all things. Is that the way to develop applications? So can you please repeat? What kind of information you want me to repeat? So like the last line, I didn't- Last know. line, right, listen. So infrastructure as a service, right. So if you want to develop some applications over the internet, you no need to buy everything from the market. If you want to get it from the, if you want to get it from internet, the third party provider, the, th the third party provider hosts everything. He will give you on the rent basis. He will provide you uh, services. He, he will provide you some storage. He will provide you hard disk. He will provide you some kind of infrastructure if you want to develop any applications over the internet. Example, Amazon Web Services, right? The best example of infrastructure as a service is Amazon Web Services. So what exactly Amazon Web Services do? Uh, so here the third party vendor, whoever is it, they will try to uh, execute whatever the product they want to sell in the Amazon. Like mm. it's just an example. Mm -hmm. And from there, the customers will reach out uh, to the party vendors mm -hmm. and this Amazon acts as a mediator to transfer and receive the product. Yes, yes. Is that clear, everyone? Sir, mm. Sir Pass is also doing the same work as uh, infrastructure. Here. Pass provides uh, only platform that does not provide any infrastructure. That provides only application development platform and tools. That's it. Clear? They do not provide any services or any storages or any hard disk, something like that. They'll provide only platform to, pro to develop something. But infrastructure as a service, they will provide infrastructure, something like storage, hard disk, something like that. Clear? So that is what the difference between SAS, PaaS, and IA is. Yes. The, is the hard disk or the storage, no? Between PaaS and IAS. Sorry? Sir, only difference. Storage, no? Our only difference, not sorry, storage and service. Sir, what kind of services like? Services like if you want, uh, um, if you want some kind of uh, services, like some, some internet services or some like, uh, if you want to develop something like, uh, see, Salesforce developer console is there. Do you have any idea about developer console? If yes, you want sir. to develop something in Salesforce, Salesforce will provide you a platform that pla we call the platform as Salesforce Developer Console, right? So that is what a service is. So that is what an infrastructure, right? So you need something to develop applications over the internet. So that is what service. Clear? Clear. Any doubts? Yeah. 
Any doubt until now? No, sir. Right. Okay. So now, the difference between salesforce.com and force.com. What is salesforce.com and what is force.com? Listen, listen to me very carefully. You'll get it now. Salesforce is a company and salesforce.com is a CRM application. It is developed based on what? Salesforce.com is what? It is a SaaS product or it is a PaaS product? Software as a service. Are you sure? It is provide service. It is just using the internet we can find. It's a boat. So, Gureshik, are you saying something? It's a kind of both, sir. Both. It's both, both pass and says, right? Yeah. How does it pass and says? Can you can you differentiate? It provides it provides platform to build mm -hmm. applications, mm -hmm. and it also provides a uh, 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 infrastructure facilities like uh, data management. Uh, okay, right. So security. listen, Salesforce is a company. And salesforce.com is a CRM application. It is developed based on SaaS. Okay. And next thing is force.com. Force.com is a platform that helps developers and business users to build applications. Okay. So force.com is an is, is an example of PaaS. Force.com is a platform with the help of which we can develop applications on the top of Salesforce. Clear? So this is what the difference between salesforce.com and force.com. So we can say that salesforce.com is a SaaS product. Force.com is a? What? Force.com is what? It's a platform. It's a platform as a service. PS. What happened? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear. Yes, yes. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, we can. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. No, we can. Gunashekar, can you speak something? Yes. I'm not yes, able I can to hear. hear. I can hear you, sir. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, now, so this is what cloud computing is. Now we'll move to our next session. So that is how to create trailhead and what exactly trailhead is and how to create Salesforce org in Salesforce. So before that, I want to let you know what exactly trailhead is and how to create Salesforce 
arc. So now let's talk about trailhead. And trailhead gives us an excellent opportunity to practice Salesforce like a real time project. Today, I'll let you know how to create trailhead account. And listen, listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully. A laptop is must if you want to learn Salesforce. Without laptop, you cannot you cannot become a Salesforce developer or Salesforce administrator. So I will share my screen to you while I while while, while I explain about the Salesforce arc. So whatever I'm doing with the screen share, you can observe it carefully and do the same on your lap on your on your laptop. Clear? Yes, yeah. I don't know, but I'm not able to hear you. Yeah, okay, sir. Right. Okay. So you can learn each module like administrative modules and developer modules, Salesforce administrator modules and Salesforce developer modules in trailhead very clearly. And you can, um, and you can, earn, and you can end some points from gadgets and you can show the points and gadgets um, you have got uh, from trailhead in your Salesforce resume also. So it's like 100 to 500 points are given for every exercise you do in Trailhead, right? So if you want to learn Salesforce very clearly, you need to work on Trailhead in a regular basis. Clear? It will provide you everything. It will provide you everything with real-time scenario examples. They will give you real-time scenario examples and they will ask you to finish it. They will ask you to do the task. Right, so that is what Trailhead is. So Trailhead is a series of online tutorials that coach beginners and intermediate developers who need to learn how to use Salesforce platform. So all Trailhead content is available for free. You don't need to pay anything for the Trailhead uh, account. You can view all learning content without even logging, with, without even logging in it. But if you want to track your progress, and complete challenges and if you want to end some points and if you want to end some badges you will need to log into trailhead right and it is an excellent place to learn salesforce and get experience actually working in and with salesforce right and trailhead is a very good platform for learning salesforce for freshers but just relying on trailhead is not enough if you want to become a real-time Salesforce administrator or real-time real Salesforce developer, you should work on Trailhead modules and you need to follow my classes every day and I will give you some and, and I'll, I will give you some task. It's like homework and, and, and I'll ask you to create some uh, application and I'll ask you to create some records and I'll ask you to create some fields and relationships and something like that, right? So I'll give you exercises on daily basis. You should do that work and resend it to me uh, through WhatsApp or I'll give you my uh, Gmail ID so that you can post it in the Gmail ID, right? So now how to create Trailhead account. So that is our first step. For that, let's go to Google. So we got able to see your screen actually. Is this visible? This page. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not able to hear you. Can you hear me? Okay.
right so it's visible okay good so if you want to register for salesforce sorry if you want to register for trailhead just go to google and search for and search for trailhead dot salesforce.com trailhead.salesforce.com and click on this get started for free get start if you want to start it as free you click on this get started for free if you want to sign up for this trailhead bazaar you need to click on sign up button My internet is very slow i don't know why can you hear me guys yeah we can hear right good any doubts until now no so the example i didn't get the force.com and the salesforce.com force.com and salesforce.com okay so i will let you know see Hmm. Okay, it's a good question. I'll show you tomorrow, right? No, it's okay. 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 I'll show you, not let you know. I'll show you tomorrow. Okay. What is the difference between Salesforce.com and Force.com? Okay. No worries. Okay. Any doubts, others? What is this? right so click on sign up right so let's get started trailhead how do you want to sign up if you want to sign up with salesforce you can you can sign up with salesforce or if you want to sign up with email or google or linkedin or facebook or apple if you if you want you can sign up with whatever you want but now we haven't created any salesforce org until now but we haven't created any salesforce org until now right so i want to log in this trailhead with the help of google so click on google click on gmail so it will ask you to enter your details like first name it's harish and last name is yadarapu and uh, trailhead url is this one and click on next they will ask you a bit about yourself to complete your profile to complete your trailhead profile they will ask you bit 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 information like first name and last name something like that is it can't be reached why sir do we need to sign up through salesforce or google if you if you have salesforce org you can sign up with salesforce but until now we haven't created any salesforce org right so that is the reason i'm logging with google okay. i'll show you how to create salesforce org so before that i want to let you know how to create trail trail bazaar or trailhead account so it is it is asking for company name just give a dummy company name like webshala and job title as salesforce developer role name is a developer relationship to salesforce is a customer we are living in india right and state is what it's karnataka okay by checking this box i'm agreeing click on done yes now trailhead account is ready to use what is the purpose of trailhead 
they can get the gadgets and gadgets from which you can uh, build up. You can the get the real-time scenarios from Trailhead. Right? You can get real-time scenarios. You can get real-time examples from Trailhead. If you want to learn something, if you want to learn Salesforce administrator modules, or if you want to learn Salesforce developer modules, they will provide you with the help of real-time scenarios. Right? Okay. Now, if you want to learn anything, so now, so here at the top right corner, you can observe your details. You can find your details. It's like, my name is Harish Adarapu. So until now, I haven't uh, scored any badges. I haven't uh, cleared any badges. I haven't get any points. So it is zero, zero, right? So if you get points, something like one lakh at 70,000 points, you can include the points in your resume. Like I have finished so-and-so badges. I have went so-and-so points in my trailhead bazaar. So it will give you some additional strength to your resume. Fine. It will provide you some additional strength to your Salesforce resume. So that so the, the candidate finished so and so badges in Trailhead. The candidate got so and so points in Trailhead Bazaar. Fine. Clear? Yes. Good. Right. So now I want to search for Salesforce administrative modules. Search for admin. Search for admin in search box. You will get all the modules which are there in admin, Salesforce administrative codes right so this is what admin beginner this is what admin intermediate this is what admin advanced right you need to work on these three things right you need to work on these three things we'll click on this salesforce admin modules admin beginner modules you can find whatever we have discussed yesterday Sorry, one second. So basically in the Salesforce admin module, it will provide you the information of Salesforce platform basics. Salesforce platform basics means what exactly Salesforce is, what is the use of Salesforce, something like that. Okay, then after, so it's data modeling. We have discussed earlier. We have discussed yesterday. Do you remember that? Data modeling. What exactly data modeling is? Right? So it includes it includes three modules. Understanding custom and standard objects. Create object relationship. Work with schema builder. Next. Third thing is data management. We have discussed already. Right? And fourth thing is lightning exercise sorry, Lightning Experience Customization and Salesforce Mobile App Customization. And next thing is User Management, Reports and Dashboards, right? So these all are included in Salesforce Admin Modules. Then after, then after move to Salesforce Intermediate Modules, and finish the all badges, then after move to Salesforce advanced modules, finish all these points, all these badges, right? Clear? One second. Got it, sir.
right so this is what trail head is but remember one thing keep it in mind you have to practice all this in the trail head after after you listen my class otherwise you won't be understand clear clear guys yes yeah right so this is what trail head is now now we'll talk about salesforce org tomorrow i let you know how to create salesforce org and we'll work on salesforce org we'll create applications and everything fine yes sir right any doubts until now no no and uh, harish you said that you'll be sharing some link regarding the basic java which you have uh, i'll share it now i'll share it now i'll share you the link and recording sessions and the pdf format also Oh. Right. And Nikhil Jain, you Nikhil Jain is left, right? Okay, no problem. No, sir, I am here. Oh, you are here. There only, right? So you asked something, right? What is the difference between force dot com and salesforce dot com? Yes, sir. Correct. Right. I'll show you. Fine. Okay, sir. No worries. Next, any doubts, others? Nothing, sir. Thank you. Nothing. So can I leave the session? Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Right. So thanks for the time. Have a nice day. Practice well, guys. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you.